G'day. In today's video, I'm replacing the fans, thermal paste, and cleaning the dust off a Gigabyte Windforce 970 4 gig model. The steps I go through this should be fairly similar for the 960, the 970, the 980, and the Radian 270X, 270, 280, 280X, as long as they're all the Tri Windforce models. To begin with, You'll be taking out the four Phillips head screws around the, uh, the GPU itself and then the two extra screws on the VRM. So once you've got those screws removed, the next thing you're going to want to do is slowly pry the cooler away from the PCB. Now with this I slowly work around it, basically focusing on the mounting points where I just removed those screws from. If you pull it right on the very end of the card, you're more than likely going to either damage the PCB or potentially the fans. So work around the middle of the card more so. There we go, as you see, that's just lifted off the mounting point there. So the original thermal paste would have released, it, it's released its bond. And then we're in from there. Further down below the, if I zoom out, is the connection for the fan header typically rock that left to right while gently pulling up and that should release. Sometimes it does become tricky and doesn't want to release so right now I'm going to use a pair of tweezers and jimmy that left and right while prying up. So next up from here, I want to remove the fans, which are all in conveniently easy to reach locations on the both ends of the card. Just all Phillips head screws with four of them in total. So we'll take those out. Now we're free, as you can see, quite a bit of dust on the original cooler. Now I'm going to focus on the fans to begin with. So as you can see on this one, it's got a considerable amount of dust on it. And I just want to compare the routing of the cables, which so far should reach. So these are relatively straightforward to disconnect. I'll zoom in in just a minute, but you should be able to use a small Phillips head screwdriver. As you can see, I've got a really tiny one here, but even that red one in the top left hand corner that we used to undo the screws at the end should be usable. It just makes it a little bit more difficult when you go to put the screws back in later, as you tend to hit the blades.
So now that I've removed one of the fans, I'm going to route this cable in a similar location. And fully remove the old fan, put the new one in. And proceed from there. Now apologies for the close zoom in, I forgot to actually unzoom it at this point. But I will unzoom it in just a, probably a minute. So go through, replace all three of your fans and route their cables to similar locations that the old ones were.
So at this stage here, what we want to do is push the plastic between the very end bit of metal and then in between the next fin that's there. As you can see, the fans are all spinning quite perfectly now. One thing you do want to test out a couple of times is making sure that the, the various fan cables aren't clipping the fans themselves. So you might need to test fit it a couple of times to be able to do that. Once you're happy with it, we'll put the screws in on the ends, both ends. So remember to have, the screw should be going through that very end metal piece into the plastic. Now with the cooler mostly back together, let's put some new thermal paste on here. So I'm just using a cloth and some, or just some tissue with some isopropyl alcohol on there just to clean it up. This is definitely going to help lower the, the temperature of the graphics card, especially with the original thermal paste previously being on there. So this will give it a bit of extra life, or at least prolong its life. Cleaning the thermal paste on the actual chip itself is a little bit harder as you do have to be a bit more careful. What I typically use in these situations, which I'll use in just a second, is a toothbrush, just an old toothbrush. Spray it with isopropyl alcohol and give it a scratch around, a light scratch around. And that should clear off the vast majority of the thermal paste that's stuck on there. As you can see, I've put a healthy bit of thermal paste on there. That should be perfectly fine. I know people are going to say you've used too much, you've used too little, you haven't spread it out. It will be fine. There's no issues with this. And make sure you connect the fan header before you put it down. Well, especially don't forget to not plug this in. <laughs>
and then proceed to put all your screws back in the back. There should be six of them in total. Depending on the variant, there may be a couple more, but on this one there were six. Now, I typically do diagonally opposites, that does help. Not by much, but as you can see, I'm just doing a bit of a cross pattern. Then from there, I've got soon to have one completed refurbished 970. And we're done. So looking much healthier, spinning perfect, no clipping, no sound, or no dodgy fan noise, no dodgy bearings, fresh thermal paste. This machine's good to game. Bye.